Dorit comes over to your house to apologize for missing your shopping event while she spent the afternoon comforting Erica. I did not want to talk to Dorit. Erica did that to herself. She was in tears. Broke oh. off, I don't care. Dorit and I are very close, and I had been talking about how I wanted to buy the, her kids, like little cowboy boots. I was so excited. The fact that she didn't show up because she was with Diana and Erica really did not sit well with me. When she showed up at my house, I actually told the crew, I don't want to see her. Don't let her in my house. It was that bad. It was that bad. You're with five girls. She's here with two. My feelings are already hurt right now. Let me keep it together. It upset me that she was so upset with me. So when we all went back to the house to get ready for dinner, I very quickly changed and I wanted to go to Kyle's house. She didn't want me to come. I said, there's no two ways about it. I am showing up. This relationship means a lot to me. She basically fought her way in and came in my house and I was so upset and she was so upset. This was brought on by the behavior last oh night. God, I can't, guys, I cannot get ready. win no matter no, what no, I no, say no, 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 it's no, like, way, just no matter what I say. Guys, guys, time out. Kyle and I had talked about this. She knew that I wanted to go. She knew that I was excited about this. I wanted to explain to her that I love you. This was not about you. This was not about choosing someone other than you. This was about being with someone who was in a lot of pain. And I knew that Kyle didn't know that Erica was really upset and that she was very tearful. So I wanted to explain it. And when I showed up to Kyle's house, I thought that I could reason with her. I didn't expect to be met with... Anger. Uh, yeah, as yeah, much anger. anger. <laughs> off, I don't care! I, I have to say I was extremely emotional, even though I'm an emotional person. And it was just complete and utter chaos between the two of us. I think I was just so emotional too about the fact that Erica had packed up and left my house. I expected more out of her, to be honest, instead of just running from me and, and having a conversation. And it felt weird that they both were off, you know, with Diana. And it just felt like a little bit of a slap in the face. And I was like, I don't want to have this conversation with you. I don't want to look at you right now. And I really didn't. I found myself having to beg her to believe that I care for her and that, you know, this was this was not a competition between the two. I was hurt. I, I was understand. hurt by you, and I was hurt by Erica. I don't want to be in the middle. I'm not choosing sides. You in the middle, though. Don't, don't do that, that's not fair. You know, I wasn't choosing one over the other. It was just a set of circumstances that ensued, and being there for a friend resulted in me not showing up to her event at the Hat Place. And I felt very, very, very bad about that. And, and also, you have to understand, I'm also going through my own emotions, right? Duh. And sometimes when you're in that pain, just having a little bit of support, whether you're talking, you're laughing, whatever it is, it means the world to you. Yes. And that's what I felt I was doing and I wanted to do. Not in lieu of going to Kyle's event, it just happened that way. But it was very important for me to go to Kyle's house to make sure she understood that. And that's what I did. I think that because we do care about each other so much, that that's why there's so much emotion there. But I appreciated that she cared enough about me to come and push her way into my house, even though I didn't want her in my house, and say, I'm not taking no for an answer. You're, you're too important to me. And she apologized. And then we make up, and that's what we do. We just had a fight yesterday. <laughs> Are we made up now, though? We made up now, yeah. Yeah. Good. After your disagreement, Erica actually decides to stay with Diana. I felt really um, emotional when I came back and saw that she had just left my house. They came home last night. 15 minutes after, they all left. The room was cleared out. She went to Diana's. My hand to God, I came home, and it is completely cleared out. She had those big trunks, remember? It was like, I don't even know how she packed up that fast. She was out of there. I don't feel welcome there. I don't feel welcome in a place where my friend Kyle is, you know, yelling at me. Don't say you can't have compassion for people who died. They're not my victims, not my problems. They're not. Don't keep saying it, please. Not understanding the place that I'm coming from and I don't feel welcome. I'm out. Thank you for helping me pack. And we went to Diana's. It felt weird too because she went to Diana's who she doesn't really know. She's a newer person, you know, that she's met. So I was insulted also because I thought we're good enough friends that we could have sat here in the morning, had coffee and 
talk through this and worked it out, but she didn't want to give that opportunity. Listen, I understand where Erica was coming from by not feeling comfortable going back to Kyle's after she had just had an altercation. Let's have a little sensitivity to the victim. The only person you should be concerned about is me. I probably would have done the same exact thing. You know, you are going now after a night like that. You want to feel comfortable. You want to be in your bed. Diana, in that moment, it said, listen, I have a bedroom. And just like she did with me, it was a very welcoming idea, you know, that made Erica feel comfortable. And so I said to her, again, I'm not going to sit there and have Erica just do it on her own. Of course, I'm her friend. I'm going to help her. If she wants to get out of there, I'm going to help her pack her things and help her get to the house. You know, I feel like in this group that we can get upset with each other and say things. We can get mad, but like, at least with me, that we can always work through it. And she didn't even want to give that opportunity. I just want to add one more thing. I went back to Diana's house with Erica. I was with her. Erica went into her room. And we cried like a baby. And when I woke up in the morning and I went to check on her, you could see she had been crying her eyes out all night long. That was what she was feeling. You know, what I don't want is for everyone only to see that fiery Erica. I'm not talking about public sure, opinion. Yeah, you are. I don't but give a f about anybody else but me. Don't say that, Erica. Don't say that because you're my friend. I can't defend that. I'm not that. caving because people think I should feel Erica, some don't. way. No what more. about the people? Yeah, what about the whoever, facts? Come on, Erica. Dumb. Come on. You can have your buttons pressed, you know, and at some point you just explode. But she's in real pain. And she was in tears and she was really, really, I don't want to say inconsolable because luckily she let me sit on the edge of the bed um, and I had to get a box of tissues, but. No, but you know what the thing about it, Dorit, was I appreciated you being there because you know, you know me and you also know what I've been through and there's only so much I can say. And I can't continuously go to fight every night without feeling something. People want me to be this, this almost robotic thing, you know, that continuously is aggressive, that's not the case. So thank you. So you had some opinions about Kathy's fashion choices in Aspen. Well, normally if we were in Beverly Hills going to an event, I could talk about my sister's style all day long and sing her the praises. This is not what I would call style. Those are your shoes? You went to the airports like that? Yeah. What do people recognize you? They don't. I actually do have some nice purses, but I didn't want to bring them to Aspen. Do you know what I'm saying? We, wanna, we don't want to waste them. Jesus, it's like ice skating. Yeah. Let me let me hold on your arm. Hold yeah. On. These are supposed to be for the snow. Who told you they're for the snow? They sold them to me like that. They're lying. <laughs> I, I don't understand my sister's dressing. I don't get it. We're in the mountains. It's literally freezing out. She has on, I don't even know, what, like a heel. I don't know what kind of shoe this was. It was a real situation. I can't figure out what she packed, why. I don't understand her body temperature situation, her shoe choices. I mean, it's for someone who understands fashion. I do not know what is happening here. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> like, help me out here.